Um, I might have given it to the lady here. I remember reading it, but I don't remember anything at this point. Okay, I actually found it. I was um, in the wrong uh, part of the menu. It was under quest items and I went straight for the books, so... Uh, well, it is what it is. I don't know, let's try this thing. Ah, there you are. You any closer to being ready for this premiere? Palpatine number two is in the props room crying. Apart from that, it's going splendid. <laughs> and you? Are you ready? I am ready. All right, let's start. Want to get this over with. Everyone says so before their first time. Afterwards, it's impossible to drag them off the stage. I know. See, you'll love it. I know, but Geralt here the won't. Zoltan. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? <laughs> they told me you like to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, what you are. You going to wear hose and a codpiece? Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Where were you? God. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. It's title The Doppler's Salvation. The players, which Geralt as himself, <laughs> Don't say Katarina that. as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. This is. And as the princess, renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show at tonight's beastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. <coughs> to slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. <coughs> he swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Is this a comedy? Oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Is this a comedy story? Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Maybe he hid in the cellar, or a barrel of beer. <laughs> At least I'm trying to make people laugh by being incompetent. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. <coughs> that having said, I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, 
I will. I will. <laughs> Finally, some laughs. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Treason! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop. Stop. Beast or man, tis my love. My betrothed! Sheath your blades. Fear a Doppler? Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Oh, <laughs> really? Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave, aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just. A true Doppler's friend. That's him, all right, with the eye. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God, call the guard. Remove the traitor at once. <laughs> they knew he hey, was going to be a guard. Command. Come up here. Come on, then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor ah. in the dungeon. I hate when uh, they call from the audience. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. That's Doctor him, though. Wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Jobless to the stake! Burn them all! <laughs> Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. <laughs> I don't know. This quest... Uh, I didn't really like... Uh, I would have preferred the chase or uh, tracking him down. It's more fun, at least for me. Geralt, you recognize me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir and left on your face. Yeah, it's the eye. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? Uh, no. No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great! Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? You laughed? Lads All won't right. believe it when I tell them. <laughs> Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Orson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? <laughs> it's not as if we planned it. <laughs> ah. He didn't contact Priscilla. Priscilla. <sighs> well, <laughs> Probably Dandelion didn't want her involved. I don't know. Why didn't you find Priscilla or the Mummers? Contact them. I came to a few performances, different shape each time, but I dared not show myself. Feared I'd put them at risk. Then I got word of a new mumming. Saw it as my chance to learn something, anything, about Siri and Dandelion. 
I can't get past the fact that, that he could have simply have talked to someone. Let's go with the flow and wreck everything. I know Siri went back to Orson's to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. That's irrelevant. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. What? Excuse me? Excuse me, but this is getting ridiculous. Um No, I don't want to I don't want to assist to this. It's I find it creepy. No, no need. I'll recognize Siri when I see her. Sure of it. Oh, uh, uh. I just thought you might want to see... I want to see her real self. I don't want to see a copy. Not angry with me, are you? No. <laughs> no! <laughs> I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him. But there's good news too. <laughs> Menga's dead. That's good news for everybody now, is it? Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it, though another just as bad or worse would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? <laughs> we think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance, then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenford. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine on route. Spring dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Uh. What? Not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where dandelion's being held. Just wait. Uh, anyway, this this makes no sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take this game seriously anymore. Because, uh, you see, people would have already started seeing that Menge... Sorry, I pronounce it Menge sometimes, but it's like dandelion, dandelion. I can't, I can't seem to make up my mind, uh, but there is a, the right way to pronounce it. The people at the Witch Hunter, the temple, whatever, ha have probably by now already noticed that Menge is, de Menge is dead. So I guess we'll just have fun and go with the flow and that's it. He is... No one else knows Menge is dead. Really? Like all the people who saw us getting in? They'll think he died in the fire, most probably. Otherwise he would have showed up already. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. <laughs> no one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's Barrack? Yes. We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. I sorely regret that it doesn't make sense. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Could double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. But he's missing an eye. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, <laughs> a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your face. Can you transform course, into... it's that simple. Thanks. He can transform into animals. Uh, this, this opens so many possibilities that I don't even want to know. I don't even want to think about it. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Manga's missing. You can make up any story you want. 
Malat and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. <coughs> See you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up a You disappeared! No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settle. <sighs> Let's get to work. Guys, guys, should we meet? Not bad. Not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. One. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. Wow. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. You knew that. Did you study anywhere? At Care Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Um... We are freeing Dandelion, all right? And then we're going at the Rosemary and Time? As if nobody knows that he's there, that that's his place? <sighs> okay, stop asking questions. Yay! Oh, okay, nothing. Take care now. Nothing. Oof, I've worked up quite the appetite. All right, let's get this over with. They only needed to do one thing to have this make sense. Just look at the freak. Have you find Dudu before going to Menge with Triss? Honestly, when I went with Triss, I was wondering how we were going to get out of it, right? I knew that at some point there would be a fight or a killing because I had to take Triss out in some way or another. I guess Axi wasn't in the workings. <laughs> I don't know. I... Which hunters are probably um, able to repel an axie? So we did the minimum damage, at least what I chose did the minimum damage. We didn't end up killing the whole barracks. We set a fire to hide the cadavers. And by the way, cadavers don't scream fire, right? But I refuse to believe that nobody else escaped that freaking fire. We should have swapped Menge with Dudu right after we killed Menge. Geralt and fake Menge, alias Dudu, could get out of there and scream fire, blame it on Triss, while she would just be escaping through the back door like we did. Who's gonna believe someone is missing from a fire? You either die or get out of it. And if you get out of the fire, you get immediately back to your comrades or whoever and tell them, hey, help, there's a fire, you don't disappear, you know. They could have sorted this out by having you um, find Dudu before to cover uh, your ass, you know. <laughs> yes, Stel, get on. Blood came out of ears. Guardians are strict masters. Exactly. You could have taken me for someone else. You're the only one here who's made a mistake. Now step up some crowds, quick! <gasps> Where are you? Leave him alone. And who might you be? Sample guard undercover. <sighs> least I. What, what the least I. Least I tried. What does it mean? 
what happens. Call me an admirer of law and order. <laughs> made a mistake coming to this town then. You're what? making a mistake. Leave him alone. I wanted and if we don't. I wanted this merchant. Just because I wanted to buy something from him. And then I happen into this. This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. <laughs> Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies and fare thee well. I uh gotta go brush my teeth. <laughs> Only that? Go home, merchant, and try not to come round here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean, both, yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm knackered. <laughs> I just want it. <laughs> A merchant. I'm going towards Zoltan. We are ready to set up this ambush, I suppose. And then I have to go to Roche and visit Tris before actually leaving for Skellige. Oh, they are hiding behind here, alright. Sultan, do you have any men here? Seems everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? That would have been really weird for him to do, you know? Lord, if I was in the Witch Hunter Order and I saw Mang reappear just like that, I would probably be drowning him in silver. <laughs> Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Ah. Uh, I suppose you're right. <laughs> Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Gotta watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Get oh, back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her. Oh, weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. She could attract attention. She could get in an accident. How do we... She's not a fighter. How do, how do we justify that to Dandelion afterwards? Seriously. This is no place for her. Something happens, I don't want to have to explain to Dandelion why she was here to begin with. Need I remind you that you're here to rescue Dandelion, not me? Seems I can take care of myself. Hide! Fine. But remember. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? No. Don't really feel like it. You two play. Oh, can, can... Uh, all right. You know the basics. That's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. So much for no distractions. I'm astonished at the lack of professionalism. <laughs>
Why don't we have more men? How many are we? I don't even know. Three cards? Oh lord. Oh wow. Help! <laughs> Dandelion. Damn it. <laughs> Where is Where is my horse? I don't understand who who Roach is. Lost him. Gotta look for tracks. There were too many horses. Sorry, I couldn't. Road through here. Can you follow me, Roach? Can I see? Stuff from Roche's. Uh, if I mount, can I? Let's go. No, I can't. Yes, I can see. Yeah, but you need to go on. I cannot really walk. Yes, I can uh, walk, ride. I mean. God, I hate this mounting mechanic. I hate it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't stop thinking about Dandelion on that horse. Oh no, Drowner. I don't want Drowner. Leave me alone. Seriously, I'm already... Prints are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Yes, you saw it, Geralt. I mean, we saw it. That's it, Roach. What if uh, it, that wasn't Dandelion, but it was a decoy? <laughs> Hello people, I see you're still working, being nice and everything. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. He's not he's just right on the road. Move it. More or less. Run, Roach. Slow now. Whoa. What is this? Vegetable. Now he's following hoof the road. Prints. Yes, it's always the same hoof prints. Let's go. One glance tells me all I need to know about you. <sighs> Try to win them all, but you won't. Ask somebody here. You. Well, well, what have we here? <laughs> Adventures, women, passion. No leading our lasses astray, scum. I don't know. It doesn't seem like these people answer me. Hurry? 
You know what? I'm gonna follow the trail. That's my merchant friend! How's the work going, good man? Preparing for the harvest and all that, eh? Harvest? In springtime? Now why'd I be doing that, sir? <laughs> what are you doing in the fields, then? <laughs> Seem to gather fruit from the bushes. Ah, apples, what? right? Stay away. Followed the wrong trail. Gotta look for a set of single hoof marks. Heavily laden horse. You? Nobody can talk with me. You? Anyone oh, you? Here? Two men. One slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, I something of the kind. Dash <laughs> turned left there. <laughs> but where a wench you were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing <laughs> so. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Sounds familiar. Mm hmm. Nui de Beauclair. Dandelion uses it by the bucket. Trail should be clear. But we are following the uh, scent now. I should probably be using a roach, but uh, I don't find myself comfortable with doing that. He's not... Uh, I don't have any con actual control over him. 